Hey guys, Juti here, and in today's episode of Tech and Troubles, we're looking at Paul's Forward Forward 2 mix up extensions. Are they really a true mix up? So, the first thing Paul has um, an option for, of course, is the high extension, which comes out relatively fast and is safe on block at minus four. Then he has the mid um, variant, which is minus 12 on block, so punishable. Yes, there is the option of him being able to cancel it, but we're not really going to look at that in this episode. That's not what this is really about. Just know that in um, intermediate um, level of play and everything below, he's mostly going to go for Demo Man anyway. And the last version he has, and the one which you shouldn't be worried about too much, is the low extension, which is a launcher um, and is quite slow, seeable, and therefore low parryable. Yeah, um, but now let's get into the details of how to deal with this mix up because it's not really a true mix up. So, just like with Kazumi's Flying Warrior stance, there's actually an option select for everything. As for Kazumi's Flying Warrior stance, we'll have a look at that in another episode. So to beat this mix up, you're going to have to implant a split second duck after you block the first hit. The reason for this is you cannot react quick enough to the high, however the mid comes out slow enough for you to actually implant that small duck in between. So if all goes well, you will go automatically underneath the high, but have enough time to go from a crouching position to a normal standing blocking position to block and punish the mid. And yeah, for this, you're going to have to be able to fuzzy guard. Um, maybe I should make a Tekken 101 video separately on that, but for now, what you should take away is that fuzzy guarding is when you leave your hand on the pad or the arcade stick, instead of letting go from block and then now pressing down back and then letting that go and then pressing back, you just slide your thumb across. So as for the low variant, we'll leave that out for now because in the beginning, you want to actually get used to the high and the mid, getting your timing and reaction quick enough down and of course the low comes out so slow that you're able to react to it. All of this of course also goes to um, the mix up which is similar which he does out of a crouch. So yeah, you can use the same things here. Yeah, now it comes down to practicing this. So as mentioned, you want to stick with the high and the mid. So you can use um, the repeat function in practice mode, either record them or look for the moves in the command list and then practice this with split second ducking uh, for you to get the hang of it. What's going to be important here is for you to also apply the right punishment and not just the blocking or ducking. So of course, as I mentioned, if you go underneath the high, you can use a wild rising launcher to launch ball and of course your 12 frame punish when you block the mid. So that about does it for this video. Thanks for watching till to the end. I'm sorry I haven't really been putting out a lot of Tekken content of late, but we're now back on track. If you liked the video, leave a like, and of course consider subscribing because I put out Tekken guides all the time and now other content as well. This is your boy Juhuti, and I'll see you on the next one.